Hi, welcome to Mike's Beer Channel. You should subscribe. I think I'm up to five. Anyhow, China makes everything, as we all know. Probably made this can opener. Oh, no, it was made in Taiwan, or bottle opener. That was enough. Anyhow, China makes beer. So today, we're trying two Chinese beers. This one is Yang Jin, Jing? I don't know how to speak Chinese. Um, but it's brewed in Beijing, China. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, you should comment below and like give them some phonetics. And I believe this requires a bottle opener, which most beer, like not the beer I normally drink, requires. There's a lot of air in that beer too, if you didn't notice. Lots of air. Missing liquid right there. Okay. I'm going to pour. Looks like regular beer. We're out of glasses. I get the fancy plastic. And I drink out of the glass out of this beer, out of all the beers, which is wrong because that's not an official beer glass, but that's my channel. So there. It smells like beer. It looks like beer. It's got a good flavor, or I mean a good color. Flavor, it's not as light as I thought by pouring. I mean, I guess that does look a little. It doesn't have a very light smell. I haven't tasted yet. What is that noise? It tastes some hops. Not a lot of hops. I think it's probably more of a barley. Reminds me of like a Mexican beer. Yeah. Almost like a Dosa Keys. I was thinking it kind of reminds me of the smell of when I used to live across the street from this Joe's Brewery that used to be in Tampa. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of that. I've never had Stroh's. I've never had Stroh's either. It just reminds me of the <laughs> smell. Although Kid Rock speaks highly of it. In, in Tampa, we have a Yingling Brewery that used to be a Paps Blue Ribbon Brewery. Before that, it was Stroh's. This? Just in case anybody was wondering how old I am. That's when I lived there. It's not bad. I mean, I don't think I'd purposely seek out a 24-pack. But it has decent flavor. It's a lot of carbonation in this. Well, it's because it was missing some fluid, so it had more carbonation than Ooh. it was needed. So, I mean, I would give this... You'd think a more carbonated beer like that would have more head. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, <didn't mess> you <laughs> I think I would put this in the, uh, uh, I, I rate beers between, uh, well, let's see the lowest beer I've rated so far is 11, which was iron city. And the highest was founders breakfast stout, which is at 99. And there's a lot in between. I think I'd put this solidly in the low eighties. Oh, huh, really? What's it called? Ying. You had to look. Yang Ying. Yang you who? Yang, your ying. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's move on to number two. Now, this one I grabbed just because of the bottle. Oh, that is a neat looking bottle. This is called Lucky Buddha. See, we can rub his belly. Um, it is keep that bottle in also brewed in China. Um, this is in the uh, Zhejiang, China, which I believe makes a lot of stuff. And this one's 4.8% alcohol. Uh, it's in a green bottle. It looks pretty light. Uh, let's pop a top. Pop a top again. Okay. See, we need a theme song. We do need a theme song that doesn't have rights that we have to pay to use. Now, this one's a lot lighter. See, even the dogs think it's lighter. Okay. Now this is Lucky Buddha. Now none of these actually say what type of beer. This just says it's enlightened. This is enlightened beer. Will it enlighten us? And it's, I don't know, it's brewed and bottled by the Cheer Day Brewery. So, let's see. This one's a lot lighter. It's I'm a very, very similar smell, but it's a lighter version of it. I'm not good with smell this. Uh, 
Mm. Um, it's got, I think this has better flavor, although there's less of it. This, I think, is, is the kind of beer you could drink a bunch of. It has better flavor, but there's less of it? Yes, the flavor itself is better, but there's not as much flavor. Okay. It makes I'm sorry sense I'm lost on that one, but it makes sense to you. So I mean, it's got, I like the flavor of this one better. That one was a lot stronger flavor. That had a lot more. This, this, this is the best Chinese beer I've ever drank. Out of two? Well, so far I've only drank two. Um, I'd actually be, I might even put this on top of the list of Asian beers in general. Because I think I'd rather have this than like Sapporo. I think Sapporo. there's something a little bit floral to it maybe. Like I'm not really sure I can't. Put my finger on it. It probably has more hops. But I don't like hops. Hoppy hops. Well, I mean, there's different varieties of hops. But, so, hmm. today, we had Lucky Buddha. I like the bottle. And you can rub Buddha. Totally <laughs> you need to put a candle in it and melt, melt some more stuff. And then we had Yangjing. Um... Yangjing wasn't bad, although after drinking this one, I'm thinking this might be high 70s, because I think this one would be mid 80s. I agree, I like this one better. This is a much better beer. Especially the bottle. The uh. bottle's cool. <laughs> you have to love anything that comes in a bottle shaped like Buddha. Hmm. Anyhow. You can rub a belly while you drink some beer. <laughs> this has been Mike's Beer Channel for today, drinking Chinese beer. <laughs>